Dear Ones, Robert Brzezinski with you. Time for evening prayers. Tonight is the 26th. It's Sunday. And thank you so much for being with us. I hope you like the new graphic we did for today. Uh, if you can't tell, I've been having a ton of fun with a bunch of tech toys. And I'll tell you, today was a great day. If anybody was on the morning prayers, uh, we had a really good time. This is my fourth live broadcast of the day. I uh, got the pleasure to be with uh, Center for Spiritual Living Denver this morning and gave the talk there, Fire in the Belly. And I really do invite you to head on over to their page and uh, take a look at what that community is doing. And, uh, and by all means, please go watch my talk from this morning. Uh, beyond that, we are uh, promoting the May Day Marathon and all kinds of great videos coming out. More speakers signing on. I just added another uh, person to the roster of speakers for the evening and uh, very much fun very much fun schedule is pretty well solidified and I'll tell you more about that tomorrow but that's not why we're here tonight right now we're here for evening prayers and it's a Sunday evening and as I spoke about in my talk this morning it, we are in Ramadan there is a season of reflection and and such going on right now and that's obviously been out picturing in the events of our planet and i've had that opportunity as well and i trust you've had your opportunity to be in spiritual in reflection of what's going on in your spiritual life and where your spiritual practice is it, this is also a time of renewal of our spiritual practice so uh, i love the fact that uh, these Broadcasts have been happening every day on time, pretty much, uh, and they're going to continue. And that's the, one of the commitments I've given myself is no matter what goes on in the world, I'm going to continue this pro this project through at least May 23rd, at least through the end of Ramadan. And we'll see where the world is and where other things are, and we'll go from there uh, with this. But I'm making that commitment that uh, that I want to see that this to that point. So uh, anyway, let, why don't we get into some prayer then? Huh? Well, I think that's a, probably an appropriate thing. If you're in a, mm, in a place of comfort, a place where you feel safe to close your eyes, please do so. And, oh. and I invite you to join in with a holy breath. Whatever pace that is for you, whatever depth that is for you, just recognize the absolute sacred nature of your breath. And then recognize that as the breath of God. Feel your heartbeat and recognize that as God's heart beating. Feel the vibration pulsating through the body temple and recognize that is God scanning the body temple. Feel the way the presence of God shows up through and as your life in every moment and every experience. It is here in this moment that we come to know the one. We come to recognize God in all its forms and all its shapes and all its sizes and all its ways. And to let go of the day, to let go of everything that's happened since the last time we were in this prayerful place, whether that was a minute ago, five minutes ago, hours ago. To set aside everything other than this experience. And allow this to be a moment of reflection, a time of rejuvenation, revitalization. Allow this to be a time of reflection and turn towards the one. Turn towards truth. Allowing anything that appears to be unlike the truth of God to dissipate and dissolve into the nothingness from whence it came. And to be in the place of pure radiant light. Pure, radiant light as it uplifts and inspires each to be a vessel of divine good in this planet. 
to be a voice of divine truth on this planet to be the hands of God on this planet, no matter what the position, no matter what the calling. I recognize everyone everywhere as a divine expression of God's great creative force on this planet. And so I know everyone is an absolute blessing, an absolute blessing to this thing called life, to this evolutionary process that we find ourselves no matter what the calling, no matter what the demonstration, each one a unique expression of the divine, whole, complete, and perfect with nothing missing. So in that truth, I know that this great experience that is happening across the planet is an opportunity for each one to experience a personal, a personal Ramadan a fasting from the temporal experiences of life and a time to go within and deeply reflect to revitalize our personal spiritual practices and thus create newly thus create a new world out of the ashes of what is falling apart, out of the dust that is of what is crumbling away, out of all that, a new vision for humanity arises. And as I was reminded earlier, we are all on the transition team. I am. And I believe if anyone that listening to these words now or at another time is absolutely called to be on that transition team to be of service in some way maybe that's prayer and meditation and consciousness maybe that's activism or actions maybe that's in relief efforts as we move into the next phase of whatever this we want to call this thing no matter the gift that is given all that is given is a gift a gift to the evolution of humanity a gift to this expanding spiral of becoming. So I say yes to the gift. I say yes to the gift that I am here to give and I say yes to the gifts that are being given. I recognize everyone as a gift and every gift incredibly valuable to the evolution of humanity, to the future of life on this planet. So I am grateful right here and right now to be in this place, to be in, a, in the absolute state. I feel it. Feel that vibration right here. Saying yes, thank you. I am grateful. To know that this is done in the mind of God, to know that this truth is already active into the law, to know that already, already, before we even complete this prayer, that the right people, the right opportunities, everything necessary is coalescing and coming together in one great expression of God's creativeness. So knowing that, I rest assured that all is well, because God's got it. There's nothing I can do anyway. It's not my work. It's God's work. So I release this word into the law that must, and in fact has already said yes, that must demonstrate according to the beliefs, according to my beliefs and the collective beliefs of each one hearing these words. The law is active. The word is done. I let it be. I relax. I get out of the way and I let go. I let God be God. And if any of this has resonated in any way, please join me in a glorious affirmation of truth as we say together, and so it is. And so, and so, and so it is. Ooh. I'm jumping up and down on that one. How you doing, Ursula? Thank you for being with us, dear one. Good to see you, Suzanne. So very, very grateful you're here. My dearest beloved, 
I will always say thank you and hello when you drop in. Thank you for being with us. Whee! All right, folks. Uh, I think by now you, I hope you know what's going on. May first, uh, we started at a, at a dozen hours, and we're gonna about blow right past that. It's up to a baker's dozen for sure. 7 a.m. Mountain Time until uh, I'm sorry, 7 a.m. Pacific Time until 8 p.m. Pacific. Uh, live stream, Facebook, YouTube, all your favorite New Thought artists. I the list just keeps getting bigger, and bigger, and I've got to stop sooner or later, uh, and we will. But I want you to know we're also we're not doing this for us alone. We are doing this as a fundraiser for a number of good programs and organizations that are out there doing the work that's needed right now uh, number one safe place for youth some place to go someone to help reaching into the homeless youth population right now and those displaced there's a lot of teenagers that are getting kicked out of their houses right now and have nowhere to go but the streets so we want to make sure those folks are getting some some help and some uh and a place to go direct relief is putting protective gear in the hands of health workers uh, on a daily basis and we want to make sure that that continues to happen for the foreseeable future so we're going to donate money there feeding america uh food banks food is important we we all know this and uh, our food banks are a system that uh, a lot of people rely on feeding America works nationally to make sure that uh, all of their partners are stocked and have food to hand out to people that need it and let's not forget our furry friends the best friends animal society largest animal sanctuary for homeless pets in uh, in America so uh, we think we're gonna do some we know we're gonna do some good work we've uh, we're, we're all ready and geared up and uh, and I'm going to let uh, that be for tonight. Thank you for joining us. We all will be back tomorrow morning, 8.15 a.m. And I've got Harold Payne with me this tomorrow morning, the musician and singer-songwriter. And he's going to join me tomorrow morning on the morning program. So I look forward to seeing you. Oh, Lara's excited for May 1st. She's going to help me with all kinds of stuff. You watch the wardrobe. We're going to have multiple costume changes. Anyway, I love you folks. I Have a great rest of your evening. We'll see you tomorrow morning or again soon. Until then, peace and blessings. Bye now.